Sasso for birdie at 16. 66. How about the Canadian Motomi LeBlanc at 9? Finish with three birdies in a row here. The only bogey free card of the morning wave today. Rear low with 64. The defending champion, Ronnie Yen, for birdie at six. Clearly loves this golf course, not feeling the pressure off to a hot start in her title defense. A year ago, Lexi Thompson, you can't see the ball yet. This is at seven. Reachable par five, easily reachable. Easiest hole on the golf course. Fourth eagle of the day from the fields. At eight. From 62 yards, trying to keep it right of the flag. It should run down towards the hole from there. And it's looking pretty good indeed. How about this? Go ahead. Yes, Charlie. She's going to love it. That'll We're looking at Lynn Grant here, aimed way left. Yeah, she's not had the speed dialed in 100% so far. She's been quite aggressive with her putting, and there's another example of that. Struggle so mightily, now back to the form we're used to seeing Lexi in. Lynn Grant, the comebacker for par. And back at the ninth for Rose. From dead center in the fairway, that's a, a full wedge. 127 yards to the hole. Near the top of the leaderboard. A year ago, Lynn Grant wasn't even out here on the LPGA Tour yet. She's at nine. That was a wedge from 136, playing safe right of the flag. You cannot miss this one. Left because a little fall away. I feel like you know the little nuances of a golf course. Rose has a nine iron in her hand. I think she's going to have to step on this one. Uphill into the wind. Oh, judged it absolutely perfectly plays about eight to nine yards uphill look at the wind whipping behind this 13th tee it's very exposed 25 yards down and uh, a player morgan metro comes from evian golf club which has its share of ups and downs they all look like they were having a good time and she's having a good time there making birdie Okay. At the 10th, Charlie Hull's second. Yes, this is the first uphill into the wind shot of the round. She's already hold a wedge today. This from 98. Oh, nearly again. This is Lynn Grant. At the 10th. All right, so Lynn from Sweden moves from 25th to 12th. Let's head up to... The 12th and check in with Maria Fassi. Another uphill second shot here. And another beauty from Maria. Check out the hang time here on this tee shot of Sarah Kemp. It's just such a cool looking hole when you stand up there. You don't really know what to tell the ball. Sit, go. <laughs> it's, it's really tough to judge distance, but what a shot by Sarah. That is on the hardest hole of the day. And you have to fight the urge to resist or fight the slope. You just have to play it. And that was a really smooth swing right there. Should stay, yeah. Yeah, see if she can bounce back after a three-putt bogey at the last hole. So, um, you know, I'm all for speedy golf. That might have needed a touch more speed. Just a so. little bit, just a little bit. One of the sponsor invites this week is former USC Trojan, Gabby Venn. And a good start for Gabby. Oh, getting better. Gabby then hit that four hybrid to just inside 20 feet. See if she can finish it off. And this wiggles a little right, Kay. We've seen some other players misread this putt. Well, when you first look at it, it feels like it should go a little right to left. Mm -hmm. I guess it flattens out by the hole. And I would think for her to leave that short, that would be just a little bit unsure of the read itself.
looks like a pretty good line. Yeah. That's a really good shot. Nice She's already holding one today. Ooh. That was a wedge from uh, over sort of 60 yards. And Mal Saigo. Yeah, well, 20 rookies in the field. Morgan? Man, we had such a wonderful night last night with the rookies. She's not an ordinary rookie. She's a proven winner. Uphill at the par 5 14th, the second for Rose Zhang. Yeah, she's going to use her three wood and give it a rip. 216 uphill, but with the wind, big climb up there. Yeah, Look pretty good. Just sneak past those trees on the right side that overhang. By the 13th green, what's this one going to do? Yeah, this is going to be pretty slow up the hill. She does have the wind pushing the ball, helping her get to the hole. Uh, it was a really good, really good attempt. How do you dial in the pace when you get to a golf course? Yeah, I, I have a couple of speed drills that I like to do. Um, most of it's actually just on the golf course, you know, hitting a lot of putts where I could potentially, you know, have, have putts from. Just kind of gauging uphill, downhill, um, getting a real good feel for that. Lynn's going to go ahead and make three. Three's a good score. This is a tough hole. Absolutely. It'll be interesting to see if she tries to fly this up there instead. Maybe front edge. Being 20 yards short of the two players that she's playing with. That's a good touch there yeah. from Lilia. Just almost knock it in for a zero putt forward. That's <laughs> not too bad way to do it either. Yeah, so she was considerably shorter off the tee. Mm. And that's down to the back. She would usually be not necessarily up with Lynn Grant, but yeah. closer to Charlie and then. And yeah. of course that meant she had to play as a three shot hole. Yeah, which Stop me if you've heard this one. Uphill approach. This is at 15 in rows. Yeah, it's maybe a little long. And it should flatten out. Wow, how about that? <laughs> wow, she made that look easy. And it was not. A little bit higher than it was. When we started the telecast. Rose trying to go back to back. This is an even harder putt, really from the high. <laughs> we had a great oh angle there, Kay. You could see it break right and then back left and then almost back right again at the very end. Yeah, it's an okay lie. And halfway towards the hole, there's a, a ridge that just is all downhill to the hole. So it's all about speed here, Morgan. And we saw a similar line to where Rose. And over at the 17th, we find Hannah Darling. From the other USC, University of South Carolina. Ooh. for a third straight birdie for Rose. Taking uh, some classes and finishing a paper. Hannah Darling, same situation at University of South Carolina. And how about that two at the 17? G.A. Shin just a moment ago. Okay. That'll turn the day around in a hurry. Eagle for G.A. But the breeze helping a little bit. She's pulled out a nine iron. Should just be a good normal one for her. Yeah, something nice like that will do. Oh, okay. Did it go there? There you go. <laughs> it is. It's in. Oh my oh my goodness. Like a really good roll. Surprised that didn't catch that top edge and fall in. All right, your move, Rose, at 18. Oh, that was a gap wedge. She was giving it a chance to go in. So watch she can that be little bit of rough here. doesn't keep the blade open. No, what a shot. Look like a oh, look like a big bounce from down here. It's, you can't see the bottom of the flag, so it's coming back. Just kind of listening. 